What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon, and I am still waiting for my Seder, and today we're talking about Girlin Pieces by Kathleen Glasgow. So before I say anything, I mean, obviously you guys saw the thumbnail, so you know kind of already what I think about this book. The very ending of it, where we actually had like this little section where the author talked about her experiences and why she wrote the book, was absolutely outstanding and absolutely spectacular, and it almost almost changed my opinion about this book. The long and short of it is, is that the author was this girl. Girl in Pieces is about somebody who self-harms. Like, we open up immediately with her in this hospital and she's not talking to anybody and she's, you know, with all of these other girls and like trying to learn how to deal with it. And then she gets out and it's kind of her picking her life up and like putting the pieces back together. And the author talks about how like she was somebody who self-harmed and she, you know, saw this girl on a bus who like had scars like her and she just so badly wanted to say, you're not alone, I'm just like you. And she never did. She just let that girl walk away from her. And it was about her finding her voice and her way to talk about things. Because in this book, we do learn that sometimes you can't express yourself through words. Like sometimes it, it's, it's through art, it's through telling stories, it's through writing music, and I, I loved all of that. However, the story itself was just very, very frustrating and it was very hard to read. I listened to this book and by the end of it, I my alone period was almost up because I was just dragging my feet through it and I had to speed it all the way up as like as fast as I could to finish reading it. And it just wasn't clicking with me. I These characters, to me, there just wasn't a lot to them. They seemed like they had a lot of depth that they really didn't, especially the main character. Like, I, she just didn't have anything that made me latch on to her. I, I never really felt like I was rooting for her. She was making all of the wrong decisions, which is perfectly understandable because of the state of mind that she was in. But I feel like the way we get her backstory is just ambiguous enough to where, like, you mostly know what she's been through, but you also don't, so you can't really sympathize or, like, empathize with her. And then she just kept doing the wrong things and like I, I was trying to like understand why like her thought process and all that and it just couldn't work and part of me was like well that's because you don't know exactly what it's like to be in her head but I read this book called The Way I Used to Be which is about a girl who's kind of broken and picking up her pieces and like she makes all the wrong decisions she's kind of unlikable but you really know where she's coming from you really feel the impact that everything has had on her and you really feel for her and you really want things to work out for her. Whereas in this book with Charlie, you, you, I, you just you don't feel that. I didn't feel connected to any of these characters. All of them were pretty forgettable and there were so many of them and we were just being told so much about them. But I feel like we just didn't really ever get to live with these characters. Probably that has to do with Charlie being the main character and her being so absorbed in her head and what was going on. But for the most part, it just didn't really add up for me. It just didn't really make me feel anything other than really bored and really frustrated because I just wanted to finish this book. Like I said though, like the message behind this book is amazing, but I wish it had been in a different way because, you know, she was, the author was saying that this was about, you know, saying like, you're not alone. There are p other people out there just like you. Like it's hard to be a girl in this world. It's, it's so hard to just like deal with all of the stuff that's going on. But I feel like this book just shows you how hard it is, but it doesn't actually show you how to get out of it. Like the ending was a little bit better, but I feel like it took us so long to get there and then the turnaround doesn't really feel like a payoff. I really wish we could have had more between Charlie and this other girl that she meets who they kind of learn to lean on each other. They learn to help each other through this mess instead of Charlie just going from guy to guy making all of these horrible decisions and nobody looking out for her like so many people knew that she was going through this hard time and nobody was helping her and that's what really frustrated me with this book and maybe that was the point but it just oh it just frustrated me so much I am giving this book a D plus mostly just because it is so provocative and I do feel like it is worth reading or it is at least worth looking into especially just because of all of the sh like struggles and issues that this book deals with but the way that it was written I just it 
it's so like it just doesn't really do it for me like I said the characters the plot it just doesn't really add up for me so knocks its score down a little bit would I recommend it I would honestly say probably not but these stories do need to be told these voices do need to be heard I just wish this one in particular could have been done a little bit differently but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every Monday that is everything got for today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.